today I'm going to describe how to determine or obtain the load line length according to article 2.8 which should be written in the load line certificate if we look to the definition in the IMO publication International Convention and Tonnage International Convention on Tonnage Measurement of Ships 1969 here article 2.8 length means 96% of the total length on a waterline at 85% of the least molded depth measured from the top of the keel this is the first part of the definition so what we have to do is for example we have here the general arrangement plan for a vessel it's an LBG vessel and the depth here is 9 depth to main deck is 9 meter so according to the regulation it's certain we have to get the 85% of the least molded depth so as we said it's 9 meter multiply 85% to equal let's bring the calculator so it will equal 7.65 meter now we will go to the profile view from the top we will choose a line let's do it also and write 7.65 and then we will get a line from here and line like that that's okay then we will go to measure the distance from here to here distance sorry here to here so it's 78 so the length will equal 78 at 0.5 D and according to the article length mean is 96% of the total length on the water line so from this number we have to get 78 multiplied by 96 per 100 equal because we have to get the 96 deep 96 percent so we will write 78 in uh, uh -huh, 100 so it will equal 74.88 meter so this is not the final if we complete the definition in the article it's saying or the length from the fore side of the steam to the axis of the stem to the axis of the rudder stock on that water line so this is another definition and to be more easy this definition is considered the length between perpendicular at the 85 percent of the least molded depths so if we pack to the, our drawing here and here is the rudder axis we can take it for example from here so we have to measure this distance I choose this one to be clear okay from the rudder stock to the stem 74.52 so we have to write it here 74.52 so if that be greater so we have to take the greatest one if we compare between this and this so this one is greater than this one so this one it will be the length of load line which should be written in the load line certificate and the tonnage certificate and also in some registration certificates also you can find another definition if you go to load line convention sorry article of international definitions 
lens here in the load line it's also article 2.8 subscribe to our channel for more video if you have any question if you any if you have any request for new videos please send to us or leave a comment thank you